hello everyone in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can make dining room and dining furniture so to make dining room and its furniture let's open the blender app after opening blender app select all these objects and then delete them then go to add menu and add a mesh which is a plane surface after adding a mesh press s and scale it up like this and then select this mesh then go to the edit mode and in the edit mode select the vertex selector after selecting vertex selector select this edge then select this edge and then press E and then press Z to extrude them along the Z axis like this. And also select this edge then press E and then press Z to move it along the Z axis. Go to object mode select this object then go to the modifier setting. And in the modifier setting add a solidify modifier. After adding solidify modifier increase the thickness and then mark this even thickness option to make all the sides equal in thickness after this i'm going to make space for the window for this select this object then go to edit mode and in the edit mode press ctrl r to add loop cut select the loop cut right here and place it here once again press ctrl r and add a loop cut and place the loop cut right here once again press ctrl r and this time i will select the horizontal loop cut Select loop cut and place it right here. Once again press ctrl r and add another horizontal loop cut and after placing all the loop cuts like this now select this face selector and then select this face and then press x and delete this face. After deleting this face go to the object mode and then apply the modifier settings. So space for the window is ready. Next I'm going to import furniture for the dining room. You can simply download the furniture from the sketch web or you can have the basic idea of making furniture like table and chair from my channel. I have already uploaded basic tutorials for table and chair making. From sketch web you simply have to search dining table, dining chair and you will find multiple designs of dining table and dining chair. You can download your design from there or you can simply have the basic idea of making table and chair from my channel. Let's import table. For this go to the import setting then import the glb file which you have downloaded from the sketch web. After importing table press s and scale it down. Now select this mesh and delete it. Then select this table and select this move tab and move it in the center of the room like this. After adjusting the location of the table now I am going to make chair for this once again go to the file menu and then import the glb file of chair which you have downloaded from sketchfab or you have made. After importing chair press s and scale it down once again press s and scale it down. Now select this mesh and delete it. Now select chair and move it to a proper location after placing one chair you don't have to import another chair or you don't have to make another chair just press shift d to duplicate it and then press g and then press x to move it along the x axis after making second chair now in this way i'm going to duplicate it four times more to make four other chair just press shift d and duplicate it and then press G and then press Y to move it along the Y axis. So chairs and table for the dining room are ready. Next I'm going to make this window. For this once again go to the import setting then import the window. Press S and scale it down. Now select this move tab and move the window towards the location where we want to place it. Then select this rotate tab and rotate it. After moving and rotating the window to a proper location then press S and then press Z to scale it down along the Z axis and move the window in the upward direction. Then press S and then press X to scale it up along the X axis and move the window to a proper location. So window is properly adjusted on its location. Next I am going to import wall clock. You can simply have the basic idea of making wall clock from my channel. After importing wall clock press S and scale it down and then select this rotate tab and rotate the clock like this then select this move tab and move the clock on the wall. So clock is properly placed on its location. Next I am going to import plates and spoons for the table. Go to the edit setting then go to preferences and then 
select this add on option and in the add on option search blender kit after searching blender kit you have to mark this 3d view blender kit online asset library after marking it close this tab then you will find blender kit right here select the blender kit then go to the models and right there you will find blender kit free models i will import this plate just like this plate after importing this plate close this tab and then adjust the position of the plate and move the plate towards the location where we want to place it press s and scale it down and see its position on the table and then press shift d to duplicate and then move the duplicated plates and spawns on the other location so plates are properly placed on the table disable this overlay option to see the view so you can see all the plates are properly placed on their location next i'm going to import the fruit part after importing it press s and scale it up like this now select the move tab and move the fruit bowl to a proper location and then place it at the center of the table so fruit part is properly placed on its location you can see the view by disabling the overlay option next i'm going to import dining cabin after importing it press s and scale it down then select this move tab and move it then press s and scale it down again now press shift d to duplicate then press g and then press y to move it along the y axis then select this rotate tab and rotate it next i'm going to import flower vase for decoration after importing it press s and scale it down then select the move tab and move the flower vase to a proper location and then adjust its position on the ground press shift to duplicate so flower waves are properly placed on their location and now i'm going to add a mesh go to add menu and then add a mesh which is a plane surface after adding it press s and scale it up like this then select this move tab and move it place it on the ground and then press s and then press x and scale it up along the x axis so after placing this mesh then disable this overlay option and in the object view you can see all the objects are properly placed next i'm going to add material to these objects for this once again enable this overlay option then select this mesh and then select this blender kit after selecting blender kit select the material tab and in the material tab select the category in the category i will select this fabric category then select the material which you want to apply so i will apply this glitter material you just have to click on it to apply it click on it to apply it after this select the walls and floor and in the material category select the wood and i will apply this old wooden material to the walls and floor of the dining room you just have to click on it to apply it after applying all the material close the blender kit then go to the shader view to see the effects so you can see all the objects are properly colored and they are properly placed disable this overlay option to see a proper view hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video show your reaction in the comment section and if you want our services connect us on the linkedin See you in the next video. Bye-bye.